I as a person really, really need people to show me that they're going to work together so that I can continue to be enthusiastic and work at stuff that's very difficult. Thank you. Whether we put all the money into one place or six different places, there's not going to be there. Okay? And the danger of what's going to happen here now, okay, is that the arts will survive, okay? Because we're a resilient bunch. We didn't have any boom time. Okay? Let's remember that first and foremost, okay? Secondly, what will happen is that we will subsidize the arts. And that's what happens. Okay? That's what happened in the last recession, okay? We as a company came out of an independent an independent theatre thrived. Okay, because we were a bunch and we're determined and passionate about what we do. It's not about us trying to find the right way to see where the money is, it's the money needs to be there. Okay? No. One thing in terms of the National Campaign for the Arts that's essential today is that it needs to be publicised that Fina Fall didn't turn out there today. Okay? That's a disgrace, and, 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 and I know that Nikki and Joe made every effort uh, uh, to do that. Uh, to pick a point with you, John, in terms of the Triscoll Arts Centre, okay? We as a company are moving into the Triscoll uh, uh, as we speak, okay? And well, obviously, I've done your research uh, uh, on that, is that we are making the old auditorium a resource for everybody, a free resource in which the theatre community can make work, okay? So, i just like to have uh, Are you? Uh, 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 Monetary return. It has an intrinsic value, and I think that's something we have to accept. 
we're going to have to get the Arts Council, if you like, to do the promotion of arts, whether that's in terms of recognition of our artists abroad, may not necessarily bring in money, but nevertheless, it is about uh, representing Ireland as a cultural nation abroad. I think that's important for us as a nation, and it's important for the artistic community as well. So it is your part of policy. Yes, you work with you kind of uh, right into the arts. Yes, 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 yes. And um, there's, there's a very good reason for that. And the, the reason for that is because I think that, uh, that there's an artificial distinction between both. Like, I mean, where do you say art stops and culture begins? I think that, that we should have a seamless flow between culture and art. And I think that's, that's sensible and prudent. And it uh, also uh, saves on duplication of, of a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, activities around the edges of both. Could I ask Tom? No, can I, just, can I just, 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 just to clarify Mary's question? question. Uh, here. And I'm okay. conscious that Chris has observed that Fine Gael is committed to having the arts at the cabinet table, and that's part of our manifesto to be launched tomorrow. It's been at the core of our, of our party policy for the last couple of years. And in fact, when the McCarthy report came out, we very much said that arts would be part of us within government. And just can I just go back to one point that Joey Kelly made, which is a very important one. It is imperative that, that we work together and that we do have at the core of our policy, be it in government or be it in opposition, wherever we are, that the, that the arts will flourish. And I mean, Pat did make a good point that the, the accentuation at the moment is on the, is on the international market or on the international stage. It is important that we, we look at the domestic and the home market and the jobs that we create here and the jobs that are necessary at home here. And I think that's a very valid point you've made. Um, just yeah, sorry, I suppose just to come back on a number of points, and I'll try briefly, just to say that Sinn Féin is very much committed to the arts and has a very strong. Um, I suppose, um, policy on the arts in itself, and we certainly would see the arts as a separate um, ministry, ministry position. Just to say that I always get concerned, I suppose, because I've been long enough around when I hear, you know, things like effectiveness, streamlining, um, all of these words. Because at the end of the day, what it means is that your budget is going to be cut, and um, you're going to have to jump, jump through hoops and loops. Um, you know, we've seen sustainability. All of those who've been getting any funding from the Arts Council have, have seen over the last 12 months the amount of time taking up in responding to the Arts Council's requests consistently the, in the last 12 months, a year and a half, it has just probably wasted so much time that, you know, it's either a report, it's either the accounts, and if it's not up to standard, then say it. People who are in positions trying to justify their own positions, I don't have any time for. And I, I, I honestly believe at this stage that, you know, uh, Department of Finance come along and saying to the Arts Council, well, you know, you've got to cut your budget, but you're going to run all these people through hoops and you're going to tell them all that they all need to begin to collaborate together now because that's the new way of doing things. I have no problems with collaboration. I think diversity is, is important. And, and the more interesting projects that we have and the more, more different types of projects we have, it's like society itself. If we were all just one cloned type of individuals together, it would be a boring place. The arts is not boring. It has diversity okay. by the abundance, and that's okay. what we're going to see. Is there anybody on this side of the slide? Tom, can, can I make... Sorry, Tom, can I get, come to the point about arts and culture? Just, just, to, just to make a short point on it. I, I, I think it's dangerous to combine both uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, we've become a multicultural society, and that brings its, its own challenges. Uh, and we know the difficulties that existed when there was an attempt uh, a number of our council ago to introduce culture a on a monocultural basis. Uh, and I, I think that caused a lot of unnecessary up upset in terms of art policy in this country. Uh, but m more importantly, uh, the distinction needs to be made between keeping Culture Ireland uh, and the Arts Council separate. Because as far as I'm concerned, we would be better off closing a number of consulates uh, and even embassies. because. Culture Ireland is a better way of reflecting Ireland and selling Ireland. Uh, it's a better use of our money. 